Hello guys and welcome to the next set of our tutorials. It's regarding uh, creating the article with tags. Last time what we did with you, we created the tags and we have a create, read, update, delete for tags. And now our the next thing on the table is to create the articles themselves. So before creating the articles, we need to make sure that there is a place for us to make the connection between the articles and the tags. So without any further ado, I'm opening a new window. Then I'm opening the place where I have my exam, htdocs. I'm opening the uh, folder with, uh, with the project, which in my case should be uh, exercises and then this is the folder phone. So I'm adding the PHP artisan and what I'm saying is, hey, artisan, please make a new migration. And that migration should be create article tax table. So this means that there should be a new file here. Yes, we could see the new file and it created a new table. So uh, what we need to do is we are going to update the up method in this. So uh, this means we need a unique identifier, we need to store the article ID and we need to store the tag ID. Why do we need to do that? Because it's many to many connection between the articles and the tags, which means that in one article you could have multiple tags and one tag could be used in multiple articles. Uh, so uh, that's why we need a place to store them. Once we have uh, created the uh, actual migration file, we could try to migrate the files. So PHP artisan migrate, and we get a message that this was done. And if I refresh the database, I see the newly created table, which is the article tax. The next thing that I'm going to do is create a migration for the place where I'm planning to store the articles. So. In order for me to store articles, I need a new table for the articles. I'm running the uh, command and I will get the schema code directly from the uh, medium post because I don't want to invent it now. And we are going to have a table articles. It will have unique uh, identifier. We'll have title. We need to have content and we need timestamps when the, a certain article was created and uh, when it was updated. This is the, the main thing that we want to have. And once we have added this, we could uh, simply uh, run migrate. And when I run migrate, uh, I get a success message. And if I check the database, uh, there should be a new table. Yes, we have the new table. So now we have the table, which is the uh, pivot table for article and tax. And we have the articles table. So once we have this, the next thing that we need to do is actually create the uh, create, read, update, delete for the articles. Just uh, a small uh, thing that we need to remember. We are creating the migration in plural form, but when creating the create, read, update, delete interface, when we are doing this in singular form. And then uh, the next thing that we need to do is uh, decide how we're going to validate the requests. Uh, usually you could do it by requests, array and fields. Uh, I would go with request. I always go with request files. This is what I do with the students. So you see, uh, we got uh, the things created. It created the model, it created the controller. Uh, this was done before because I was testing. It uh, registered the root and then it updated the view for us. Uh, then this means uh, that if I click refresh here, now we have articles, create, read, update, delete. The next thing that we need to do is open the article model. The models are under app. Then you go to models folder and in there, there should be an articles model. You see the name of the model is article. It extends the general model and there is a... a property, which is storing the name of the folder. And the next thing that we are going to do is 
inside relations, we are going to paste the following code. What does it mean? It means that we are dynamically adding a new attribute to this module, which is tax. And every time when someone tries to access tax, it will say, hey, tax are a relation between article and tax. The pivot table is article tax and the relation is based on the article ID and the tag ID. This is described in the actual article. I won't focus on that uh, because I would like to show it once this is done. So this is making the connection. This is what you need to remember. If someone wants to read more, uh, this could be found in under the Laravel documentation, uh, but this is the easiest way to make many to many uh, connection and how to do that in Laravel. So we already have uh, the connection listed. The next thing that we are going to do is we want to edit the controller. Why do we want to edit the controller? Because in here you see it has title, content, created and updated. It doesn't have a clue that we are going and planning to have something about articles. So in order for a backpack to start dealing with this, we need to open the controller, which is under app, HTTP controllers, then admin folder. And I could open the article crude controller. This is the controller. Then I'm going to get this function. This function is called get fields data. Get fields data. I will explain shortly why we need to do that. But this function has a parameter show, and then it returns an array uh, of fields that uh, we're going to use to edit articles. And also we will use them when we are previewing an article and when we are on the listing page. That's why it has this show parameter. And based on that show parameter, it's changing the type of the fields. If it's only show, it's saying here text or summer note. And if when it comes to the tags, it says uh, either select or select multiple. And if someone is wondering how do I know uh, what kind of types of fields do we have in there? Well, uh, if you open uh, the backpack uh, website, there is a list of all the fields. And for example, summer note is a, what you see is what you get editor that we are going to use. And if I search, for example, for select multiple, if I search for select multiple here, uh, you will see that this is again, uh, an element that is recommended to be used when you have end-to-end -end relationship or many-to-many -many relationships. And that's why we're using it for our tax example. And I would like to focus one more time on this. It's select multiple because in one article we could have multiple tax. And we are stating that, hey, this field name is tax. The entity that is going to uh, be shown is tax. The model that is referenced is the tag model. Uh, the attribute that I would like to show in the uh, field is name. This is the name attribute of the tag model. And then is there a pivot table? Yes, there is a pivot table. And how does it know that there is a pivot table? Well, we just added that with you. We added this relation and we said every time when someone is referencing tags, check the pivot table. And in here we are, we are saying, hey, the attribute is tags. So this means please check in the pivot table and make sure that you update the pivot table. Uh, once we have added this code there, uh, we need to update the setup method. Why do we need, we need to update the setup method? The setup method of this uh, uh, root controller actually states what kind of uh, fields there will be uh, visible. And it's saying, hey, the model is this. Uh, I'm going to use the root prefix. This is the entity name strings. And if I say in the setup model, the elements that I want to show are here, it will start using them. And this means that if I go to add article, then there will be more things. You see, now we have title, we have the content, we have the tags. But if I comment this line here and return back to the add, uh, you see that we have only title and content because the created and updated add elements are updated automatically by Laravel and Backpack. So with this line here, with only one line, we are actually extending the creation of the articles and we are saying that this is my first article and then uh, there is some content and uh, I, I could actually 
let me copy this and I could use uh, some of the elements here and do different stuff. I could choose uh, several tags and I could save it. And when I save it, uh, you see that when I go to preview, again, I see the title, the content, but if I go to edit, I see all of the things. So we're moving one step closer. We said that this is the uh, element that we're going to use. And the next thing that we need to update is uh, set up the show operation. Uh, this is usually a method that uh, will be missing. So if I search for setup show, you see it's missing. So I'm going to add this method at the end of the file. And when I add this method at the end of the file, what will happen is uh, if I go one step back and then open the preview section, then we have the content and we have the uh, tax. This is what show method is about. Actually, show method is this section when you click preview. This thing is this action here. So that's the main difference. We have show, this is edit, this is add when you click on add, and uh, the elements here is listing. So up to now, we have updated with you uh, preview and we have updated with you uh, the uh, add and update. And if you check what other operations we have, you see these are the listing operations. It says, please add the following columns. But if you want to have the same columns as on the other side, what we can do with you is something like this. And then if I click refresh, then it will have the title, the content, the created, updated, and the tax. It actually added everything. It added the same things that are added to the preview method but it's using the created and updated because of those two columns. So if I go like this and refresh, then it will have title, content, tags, and created. I can now preview the stuff. I could edit the stuff. For example, choose only the second one. And you see on the preview, it's only on the second one. If I go to the listing again, it's only the second one. And uh, if I go and check uh, inside the database, there is article tax and inside the article tax, it makes the connection. It keeps an ID of the article and the tag ID. And if I create a new one, let's create a second article. This is the second article. It has some content and it will have only one tag. If I save it and go again to the database and if I uh, refresh uh, this table, which is article tax, you see that now it's set for article with ID two. It's going. It's using the tag ID four. And then if you go to articles table, you see it saves the title, the HTML, the created and updated that. This means that uh, we have managed to create a really simple create, read, update, delete in article with you. And uh, this is the starting point that we are going to use for our next tutorial. So stay sharp.